lived her life um, unabashedly, like unafraid to say things, very straightforward, really kind-hearted and very thoughtful about others. Uh, she she would come in here, I'm in junk teaks right now, surrounded by books. She, she loved the library too. Apparently like at her memorial yesterday, two of the librarians got up and said how much they were gonna miss her quirkiness coming to the library. So she was very much a, not only, you know, somebody who loved literature and arts, but somebody who loved the community and loved, you know, I think the whole idea of the library was perfect for her because it was community minded and it had all the rich culture that she enjoyed. But um, she would come into Junk Teaks, which is where we are now, and she bought an organ from me, a big, like a big bulky organ, not just like uh, like a portable keyboard, like a chunky organ, and she drove it up to Montreal and gave it to her son. Apparently she was a thrift store fanatic, and a lot that was said about her was that she would just find crazy junk, you know, and little treasures and give them out to all of her friends and was, you know, always thinking of others and like, oh, this person would love this and this person and really making really connections through the stuff and through her heart and like putting together and like really kind of making the, the interweb, the, the web of community in her mind and in her spirit, I think, a priority bringing people together. Well, I mean, one thing about Kathleen is her home was like her, you know, her Mecca. And she made this, she has this beautiful home on Park Street. And uh, it's, I don't know if, you, if you've passed by it, it was the one that had like a, a half of a dead tree that had bugs uh, nailed all over it. I mean, right now there's a huge memorial, you know, in front of it. But it's, uh, it was, you know, the center of the neighborhood. It was like kind of this masterpiece and a Canadian flag hanging out front, you know, because she had the Canadian spirit. She definitely had a connection with all of her neighbors. She loved to garden. She had an amazing garden. One of her favorite things was to, like, share plants and share, you know, the knowledge of plants with her neighbors and different people in the community. And, you know, she, I mean, besides working at the um, Howard Center for different clients, um, and it was really neat at the memorial having some of her clients show up there and really that was really heart-wrenching and you know beautiful at the same time. She had a, a, definitely a real presence in the Old North End. As far as the Old North End being a colorful place to live, she was color. I mean, you know, color incarnate. She loved color. Love, love beauty, and uh, I mean, there was like over 200 people at her memorial, a lot of people from the Old North End. I wasn't surprised because I knew what kind of an outgoing person she was, but I didn't know how many people that she had touched in how many different ways and like how many of us, like she's had, you know, really potent connections with. A lot of us go on a bicycle ride a couple times a year. And she was involved and then taking this bike ride with us, which is really interesting. She was the one person who always wore a helmet. I always remember that. It was like none of us, we were all riding without a helmet. And she would always wear a helmet. She was really safety conscious in that way. Really knew how to celebrate, celebrate life. Loved to bike, loved to swim, you know, canoe. She was really, really a, a, a good blend between like being an outdoors woman and being a thoughtful and you know crafty interior person she had a really good blend of everything one way that we wor did work together is in the fool's gold artist fund the umbrella organization for fool's gold artist fund is fluff which is fools launching unusual flights of fancy and i think that really helps communicate the kind of a person that she was, that she was very fanciful. Certainly, we're gonna make a Fool's Gold award uh, dedicated to Kathleen that we'll give to the, you know, the ultimate fool of the evening. Even though I own a junk shop, I'd forego matter and focus in on spirit. And she was a very highly spirited woman who continues to live, you know, in her spirit right here in infinity. And uh, I'm really letting her spirit fly because I think that she, um, she deserves it. She was uh, a smiling, laughing, beautiful soul. And so um, in my mind, she's still smiling, still laughing, and definitely beautiful. Steady the river, out to the sea. Steady the sunrise, no sea. Steady the sorrow that comes over me. Steady the sun. No apology. 
Steady the silence, no apostles.